Rest in peace, camo scrunch bum. You will be missed. But not by me. Listen, I know at one point we all loved that camo scrunch. That's what got us to where we are today. But sometimes it's really good to just evolve with the times, move on. Welcome on back to the channel. Today we are discussing Gymshark's new camo and new moral. Woo! Lots of changes went on with the camo. We got different texture, we have different styles. The moral, I'm shocked to even see come back. I thought that was long gone. I thought we turned that into the fleck and there was no more moral, but I guess I was wrong about that. It's now back. They're super updated. They look brand spanking new. They've already launched, so they're live on the website as we speak. I will have everything linked down below that I discuss in today's video. So first we're gonna discuss each of these collections individually. Now remember, these are both from the Adapt family, so it's like a big tree, a family tree. You got the Adapt Marl, Camo, Animal, Ombre, what else? <laughs> and Fleck if that's still a thing. Those are all considered the Adapt collection. So with that, there's gonna be a lot of similarities here, but some minor differences that are good to pay attention to because that could make or break your purchasing decision. So stay tuned to the end where I break down the differences between the two. Speaking of Gymshark, congrats to them for their 10 year anniversary. Have you guys noticed their anniversary job that they just did? Really cool designs, very unique. A little bit pricey, actually. <laughs> kind of surprised to see that since it's more of a celebratory drop. But nevertheless, because I guess it's a limited edition, what are you gonna do? Big congrats to them though, 10 years, a whole decade. Damn, where was I 10 years ago? I was, I was 23 years old, I didn't meet Bay yet, and I was, I was in a really bad spot, actually. <laughs> Now that I'm thinking about it, 23 years, I don't wanna relive any of my early 20s at all. Let's see, I was in an unhealthy relationship. I'm pretty sure I was unemployed. Um, dropped out of college, yep, twice, three times. Uh, what else? I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Breaking out really bad. Still working out though, that's good, I still exercise. Yeah, 10 years ago, let's not think about that. I like where I am now. We're gonna go into major detail with the new camo and the new moral. I tested both out at the gym, but first let's focus on that camo. I know why you're all here. Camo always wins the day. It has been a minute since we've done a camo video. In fact, the last time Gymshark came out with a camo design, the Savannah print, was 11 months ago. That's almost a whole year of sticking with the same print. I personally like the Savannah print. About six months ago, they replenished the colors, but now present day, they went for a whole different design. And with a whole different design, came a whole different feel, literally. What we need to discuss first and foremost is that new backside. Guys, if you remember my Battle of the Gymshark leggings videos, I did two of them. My last one was a year and a half ago. I know what you guys are thinking, but Ash, wasn't it you that did a Battle of the Gymshark leggings and ranked Camo as number one? Didn't you love that scrunch bum? In those two videos, Camo ranked number one because the flattering fit. With or without that scrunch, it's still my number one in terms of flattering fit. But if we're talking just solely scrunch bum, a lot has changed in the past year and a half. I've tried a lot of different brands. The scrunch game in general has seriously amplified. We've all discussed this before in previous videos. Gymshark needed to update the camo scrunch. So what was once a really innovative scrunch legging had some serious catching up to do. Now there is no scrunch here, none. Now don't hold me to this, but because there's no scrunch on these whatsoever, I personally believe, this is just my opinion, that this is a transitional piece. If I know Gymshark, boy, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna feel like an idiot. I feel like they're not just gonna do without that scrunch. They're in the process of coming out with something really special. I think this piece is just an in-between type of piece where they said, okay, we're removing that old scrunch. Nobody likes it anymore. They didn't wanna keep us waiting too long, so we got a raised seam contour. The camo dropped a lot of new pieces, so we're looking at leggings, shorts, brand new long sleeve crop tops. They're lace-ups, they're beautiful, wow. We also have loose fit crops that I'm wearing right now. They even launched track jackets, loose fit long sleeve tops, and of course their signature crisscross sports bra that you know I love so much. Check out this red. It's like a red mixed with an orange. It reminds me of hot lava. Especially when I saw this 
tan beige launching as well. God, I'm all over the place. <laughs> this reminded me of a sandstorm. Like if you're in the desert and then all of a sudden shit gets wild, this is what it might look like. They also dropped a black and a green color. I didn't get my hands on those. I'm not gonna lie. The green just reminded me too much of so many other greens that I have in the camo family. Something to note about this new camo. It is insanely textured, insanely textured. Wow, you will feel everything. It's raised. This design is knitted into the pattern. I think this is really cool, very rugged for the gym compared to the Savannah print. You slip your hands right down it, it gets slippery. This, no, there's so much traction on the outside of this legging. Not so much on the inside. It's nice and soft like it should be, right? It's up against your skin. I will say with all this texture going on, I do feel like that warrants an embroidered logo. This is the type of material where I feel like an embroidered logo could work. Actually, I feel like it's kind of necessary. Anything raised, whenever you have something raised, you have the potential of having a heat sealed printed logo raised as well. My shark face is already cracking on the hip here. So they still kept the same material as the last camel launch. And I don't know about you, I'm not complaining. I think this material is the perfect recipe to just hug the curves, look super flattering on the behind, give you a nice amount of stretch. I mean, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of stretch. Mm -hmm. Real quick before we hop into it, it's in my little filming outfit of the day. So we got obviously the camo crop top, loose fit, but I tucked it up into my sports bra because that's how I do. If you're wondering what it looks like normally without being tucked, super boxy, more like a midi, not totally crop. So it still covers you even with leggings. I paired it with the new rest day sweats. You know I love those rest day sweats. Yeah, actually, to be honest with you, rest day sweats are my favorite sweats from Gymshark of all time. I remember the Pippa for the longest time were my favorite. They were lightweight, stretchy. Now I'm into more of the, the dense cotton sweats that are still relatively stretchy. I love this cinnamon brown swirl color. It goes so well with this whole fall theme. I actually have the matching hoodie. I just, I'm already obsessed. I'm wearing a small and they're super oversized and baggy. I'll have these linked too, in case you're interested. You could totally size down, but me, mm -mm, the baggier, the better sometimes. <laughs> okay, get out of here. This is the focus. All right, so here we are, rocking the leggings, the sports bra and the long sleeve, all in a size small. Check out this backing. That is a sexy back. That lace-up design with this color, it's doing it for me. Yeah, I noticed that with the camel long sleeves. Those are kitchen scissors. They open chicken packets, that's nasty. Hope you washed it. Oh, that's better. These camel long sleeves, I'll tell you, the tag never fails to show its face, I'm sick of it. The lace-up is adjustable, so you can tighten it, loosen it, depending on how you feel. So I wore the long sleeve to the gym the other day, warmed up with some cardio on the treadmill. Two minutes in, like clockwork, this needs to come off. This is one of their thickest long sleeve crop tops that they have, and boy is it thick, like to the point where I was dying immediately. Truth be told, I've actually evolved into the type of person that doesn't like to warm up in these types of tops anymore. I much prefer baggy hoodies, more pump cover based things, just looser. Not only do I think it's super trendy right now, I mean, I see it on TikTok all the time, the pump cover, the real baggy look, but I'm actually steering away from the skin tight long sleeves because I just don't want to feel this wrapped. I feel like saran wrap, like I'm wrapped up in something right now. So even though it's super beautiful and I love the improvements they made on the back, I don't see myself really actively wearing the long sleeves to the gym. I'm actually way more likely to wear that loose fit crop top to the gym than say the skin tight feel. If you're in between, I would suggest sizing up because sizing down for me would just be like a big no-no. And taking it off, you know what I mean? It's an extra hassle because it's tight. AirPods will definitely fall out of your ear. They'll fly out of your ears. I, they fly out of my ears with even a baggy hoodie on, those damn AirPods. That's better. 
Now don't get it twisted, that's a seriously good, high quality, long sleeve piece. If you're somebody who prefers that, go for it. But me, I feel like I barely wear cover ups as it is. And if I do, it's no longer than a minute warming up. I need it off my body. I love this crisscross. This is my favorite sports bra from Gymshark other than the training range. You know I love it. I've said it a million times. Nothing has changed when it comes to the sports bra. It is the exact same. You got the highway action on the back, racer back that's not adjustable. You have the removable bra pads. What's really nice about this bra is not only does it give insane cleavage for me i mean my girl my 34 b's are they're high on life in this bra but what's actually really cool and dope is the fact that even with this amount of cleavage showing nothing ever falls out these are secure these babies are buckled right up and i just feel like i could do anything in this one thing i noticed though i'm gonna remember this for next time when i get the new adapt pieces I think I'm gonna try ordering up a size. So my true size small, that's all I've ever stuck with. And to be quite honest with you, I'm starting to feel like I don't like the dig in the back anymore. When I first put this on, fresh out the package, it was so small that I actually, knew, I, I literally put my arms in and stretched it out and had to pop a bunch of seams just to comfortably get it over and around me. Now, even though it stretches out, it really does. You can stretch this material out and over time, it'll just, it'll fit like a glove. I feel like me in a medium would feel so much better. In fact, when I first wore this to the gym, after about an hour, I started feeling like right here is pushing down a little bit. I felt a little bit of unnecessary pressure right here. I, it's not like this is new. I noticed this in other Cambo sports bras, but it was, wasn't worth mentioning to me. I do feel like now that I'm starting to gain some weight, I'm taking my creatine, I'm starting to feel like, okay, now I'm at the brim where I should size up in this sports bra. So if you're in between, size up. The raised seam contour is doing its job. We don't need the cat butthole here. <laughs> there we go, I said it. Now, I haven't worn camo in a while because summer took place. I would never wear this in the summer because <laughs> it's so thick. What I'm noticing is that the pattern gets more prominent as you go down the leg. So it's very spread out looking up here, but as you go down the leg, from the knee down is where you see the real big chunky pattern. Threw on the beige real quick to give you guys an idea. Now, even though the red leggings were pretty perfect on me, I noticed the beige has an awkward gape right here. Same size, same everything. Couldn't tell you, perhaps it's the dye, I don't know. I'm not gonna act like I freaking know. Now I will say, I wore both this color and the red to the gym, each equal amount of times. This one's more stretched out. This one has that little flipperoo. I couldn't even imagine sizing up. I do have to say guys, if you're, if you're in between sizes with the camo, I would say when it comes to the leggings, you might wanna size down because I do think if you size up, if you're in between, you can definitely run the risk of this area looking unflattering and unhealthy and awkward and weird. And it wasn't like this when it first came out of the package. It wasn't like this. All right, sweat test time. Thought, why not try it in the lighter beige color? Gonna do this in the marl too, cause this is a comparison video after all. Right on the skin, baby. Don't get used to that. Okay. Now we wait. I'm testing to see how fast it absorbs like a paper towel off of my skin. And I'm testing to see how fast it dries and pretty much not show up on the legging, if it even does show up. Fairly dry over here. I mean, I think it's safe to say you're not gonna see the sweat on this. <laughs> With all the different shadowing going on here, all that rugged detail, I don't see the sweat. And if you do see it, it's gonna blend right in with this design. Yes, yeah, slight darkness right here. Now again, this is very thick material, so it's going to absorb it. It did really well with absorbing it right off my skin, like a bounty paper towel. Now I do technically see it, but it's because I'm aware that it's there. But to the untrained eye, like if you're just at the gym, working out, mind your own business, I don't think anyone's gonna notice any sweat. For the sweat test, I would give it an eight and a half out of 10. So while we talk the shorts, I figured I would throw on a little mix and match so you could see how these colors pair together. So I actually received a size small in these shorts by accident. You know, I normally size up to a medium in all fitted shorts. However, these were not what I was expecting. Even though there's a little bit of that baby, baby cinch, it's not as bad as I anticipated. Like for example, if these were the vital in a small, forget it, just forget about it. 
But because these are the camo, <laughs> these are doing okay in that department. And there's no wrinkling, no extra gaping or anything. So I would say these are very true to size. Now again, that's the only real reason I size up in tight fit shorts, because I can't freaking stand that tight cinching around the thighs that just make me bulge out everywhere. Typically when I size up to a medium in tight fit shorts, I always gotta make a little bit of a sacrifice. Even though it'll be a little bit better around the quad area, usually that means it comes with a little more room here, a little extra wrinkle, if you will. It's nice to know I don't have to make that sacrifice with these. <laughs> They're doing okay. With how these look, I would definitely wear them to the gym and not feel some type of way. Now granted, I do see my cellulite on the back, but even without this being up against my skin, I still see it. So it's, it's there no matter what. Totally normal, whatever. That's not gonna stop me from wearing the shorts. But my main thing is from the front and it's not cinching in too much and not causing the dreaded muffin quad. Basic squatting, I have no problem with roll up. Everything else though causes a roll up. If I'm getting into a sumo squat position or especially on the inner and outer thigh machine, that's where I notice a ton of roll up. Look at this. Here I am just doing cool down stretches and it's looking like a fruit roll up up in here. Now that I'm starting to slowly feel more confident wearing shorts to the gym, I don't mind it as much. It's kind of whatever. About to go rock it like this. <laughs> okay, maybe. No, I'm not there yet. I don't, no, I don't want to do it. No, I don't want to do it. Nah. <laughs> this camo jacket is one of the most slept on pieces from this entire haul. Well, let me tell you why. Do you remember when I was complaining how the camo doesn't have an embroidered logo? Well, this zip up jacket does. And as it should, because look at this design. It's too nice for a printed logo. So if they could do it on this, they could do it on everything else. Talk to you, Gymshark. As you can see, there's a ton of breathability in this piece. Not only are you seeing dotted mesh contour paneling, I can literally look right through it, but there's also line breakup. So you have a lot, a lot of ventilation. So this is what it looks like. This is a size small. How cute. This makes me wish I got the full green set to match it. I actually chose the green on purpose because I liked it a lot better than the black, first of all. Second of all, I wanted to be able to show you guys what the green color looks like. I'm gonna give them three cheers for making this a full length and not a crop. Not everything should be a crop top, especially when you're actually trying to stay warm. <laughs> what I've learned along the years, you still see your crotch. So it's not, it doesn't go past the crotch. If I were to pull this over my glutes, this is how far it goes. But you know, that's how it's gonna stay. You can definitely size down if you prefer more form-fitted. Because I mean, look, I have a lot of extra room in this baby. I actually like that it's more of a, a crew collar here and no hood. Very cool track jacket style. They did a great job. Zipper is fully functional and not messing with me. We're good. The only downfalls, in my opinion, are no pockets, none, not even inside, nope. Outside, inside, no, and there's no thumb holes. You know I love my thumb holes, so. Other than that, it's a great little jacket. It looks to the eye heavy and bulky, but believe me, it's not. This is what it looks like when you lift your arms up, so you're gonna see a little tummy action. It's all right. Now let's move on and talk Gymshark Adapt Marl. Whereas the camo had a ton of pieces that released, the Marl only had two. They kept it simple with just leggings and sports bras. They also have long sleeve crop tops, but the US site does not have that. I don't know if they're gonna be coming out with them if we're gonna be getting them. So stay posted on my Instagram stories. Sometimes only certain countries will get certain things. So if you're not in the US, chances are you can snack some Marl long sleeve crops. Spooky season, October's around the corner. Thank goodness they went with this particular shade of orange because it just passes the pumpkin test. If they went any more neon or any more lighter, that'd be way too summery for me. And this is a leaf that has fallen off the tree two months ago and has been just chilling in a wet pile. And I love it. You can't shut this imagination off, okay? I've tried. Fall fashion is my fashion. So I hope you guys are ready because from here on out till about December 1st, I'm gonna be doing nothing but making full fashion references. Again, just like the camo, they launched additional colors, black and blue. 
But like I said, I have to go with the season in my gut. That's just what my body and soul are telling me to do. Look at that design. Look at how much more noticeable the marl is now that it used to be. I actually don't see the OG marl anything on Gymshark's website. They only have these now. In comparison from the old marl, these feel a bit more rugged in a way, not so slippery. I noticed the marl from a few years ago when they first came out, had a real slippery touch. Okay, so starting with the sports bra. So in case you haven't noticed, the Adapt Marl has not one but two layers to the sports bra. <laughs> Even though it's double layered, you still have removable bra pads, not adjustable on the back. But look how pretty the back side is. Ooh. You see those little plastic pieces there? Automatically on the website, you're probably like, oh, that's adjustable. No, it ain't. Both the sports bra and the leggings are in my true size small. I'm still feeling the same type of way with this bra as I did with the camo. Slightly snug. I know this set is overall slightly more compressive than the camo, especially if you're in between, this is your sign. Size up. Now for the run test or the sprint test. Got that double bandage right here. Girls are intact, glutes are intact, we're all intact here. The sports bra held up pretty well in the gym. I did some jump squats, I ran. There's a really nice amount of support here. Now let's talk the leggings. Something I instantly noticed that's a bit different than the camo is the waistband. There's no flipping of the band, no gaping of the band. <laughs> No funny business going on here. It stays intact around the waist a hell of a lot better than the camo does. We feel a little bit more compression in the marl than the camo. I'm especially feeling it right in the glute space. So when I'm deadlifting, it feels a little bit tight right back here. <laughs> Where the camo, I did not feel that. I did the leg day in camo yesterday. Um, now I'm doing a little more lightweight compound in the marl, still doing legs, and I'm feeling a little more restriction on the glute area. Now that's a good thing. Because that means I'm making those gains back there. But it's also a bad thing because this, this feels a little tight now. The camo feels slightly thicker. They're both relatively thick sets, but the camo has more of a, a real thickness to it. I feel like the marl is a little better to sweat in because it wicks slightly better. Like I said when I introduced this, it gets a little tight in this region when squatting, but it's still doable in my size small. If you're in between, I would suggest sizing up. You'll probably feel a little less compression. That's a good thing, that's, you know. But I also feel like for the integrity of the legging when squatting, especially if we have similar glute sizes, you might want to consider sizing up to prevent potential splitting. This pumpkin orange, even for me, I'm usually cool with it, a little bit of sheerness. It's on the verge of being just a little bit uncomfortable for me. We're training back today anyway, so it's not a huge deal, but keep that in mind. If you're doing legs and you're squatting, you will see some shadow back there. You will see it. Similarly to the camo, because of the thick material involved, you don't get the dreaded CT. Now, if there's any legging in the world that I would comfortably wear no panties with, it would be the marl and the camo because of the thickness. Unlike really thin leggings that potentially make their way up, the thick leggings are a lot better in that department. Sweat test number two, here we go. <sighs> Cold. Let me feel, oh wow. It really dried my skin fast. Fast. I mean, I sprayed that directly on my stomach. It absorbed right through the legging, as it should. Are we seeing sweat? I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing sweat. anything. Nothing. Not even a dark patch. Wow, very good with sweat concealment, even in this light orange. It wicked that sweat so fast off my body. And it's undetectable. So I would give the sweat test for this legging a 10 out of 10. So let's go ahead and unpack what we just looked at. Like you guys just saw, I felt the marl was a bit more snug than the camo. And here is some proof as to why. If you look closely, you'll see that the camo band is about a half inch bigger than the marl. Even holding it up, like when I first pulled it out of the package, 
I felt like the Marl looked a tiny bit more, just smaller in general. They both have the raised seam contour on the back. They are both really good at sweat concealment and cellulite concealment, that's for sure. And especially with that textured feel on the camo, that extra layer right there really helps to conceal a lot. In terms of real differences, other than the sizing, yes, this is a little more compressive moral. If you are looking for something where you wanna run or bounce around in, you really need that extra support. You prefer being really held in, check out that moral. If you're somebody who wants more of just an aesthetic, more stretch, more room to breathe, the camo might be for you. I know personally, I prefer the camo. So in terms of feel, very, very, very textured, gripped almost, very sleek and smooth, but not slippery like that old Adapt Marl. Again, I ran, you saw me sprint. I do feel like the stretch is there enough to fit my glutes. Because I'm doing hip thrust and gaining back there though, I still would size up in these for me because I did feel in a low squat where, you know when it just gets to that real stretched out point on the behind where you're like, if this was any tighter, this would rip. That's where I was at. I call that the moment of truth. Okay, that's when the quality is tested, when you reach that limit. So even though these are both in my true size small, you saw when I got to a really low squat, you f I felt that on my behind where it was stretching to its limits, its peak. With the camo, I felt like I could get really down and dirty and stretch and move around, and I didn't feel like it was too tight on the glutes. It didn't feel so tense. It didn't feel like I needed to size up. Especially around the waistband, I felt that cinching, a little bit of dig. So whereas I feel like I need to size up in the marl, I don't feel that with the camo. I sweat a little bit more in this. It's a little bit thicker, I gotta say. In terms of overall length, the camo is about an inch longer, I'd say, than the marl. But the camo wasn't too long where it gathered at the bottom. I was still able to make both of these work. All right, guys, that was that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much if you do shop through my Gymshark link. It helps to support this channel more than you know. So thank you so much if you do. Always drop a comment to let me know. DM me, whatever you gotta do. Just let me know so I can personally thank you. Appreciate you guys being here. I love you so much and I will catch you in my next video. We don't need that scrunch bum. We don't need the cat back. <laughs> we don't need the... <laughs> you do have removable bra pads. You have, what the fuck? Am I good real quick? Do I have anything in my teeth so I'm not sending Nose. the whole day? No, you're good. Nose. Cause I ate granola. No, you're fine. It is 11.56 p.m. a.m. <laughs> it always gets me fucked up when it's near 12 o'clock. We're gonna get into all the details about the new camo and the new vital at the end, do a slight no, little- not vital. I mean, in those two videos, camo ranked- hold on, what the fuck am I doing? Keeps these reviews coming strong, helps Keith, uh, Keith, Keith. It's still doable in my size small. Why'd I say that like that? Small. The Marl, they kept it really simple with just leggings and sport bra.